estate sale find. This is so cool. Now when I got it, it did not have a battery in it. It wasn't moving at all. Um, well, batteries are helpful. And But I got it for $5. And, and uh, the guy who was selling it was like, we don't even know if it works. But I thought, you know, for $5, this glass dome is enough. So here's the thing. Up to now, I've already done this. I took off the dome. I put a battery in it. It's easy enough to put the battery in. Because it's plastic back here and battery's also a double A that it needed, I'm guessing this is around 1990s at the earliest. It's a WHT German clock. I couldn't find too much on this or even the company, really. I saw some things about it being around the 1970s when it got its start, but either way, it was still pretty cool. The only thing was, is this little pendulum down here, it wasn't turning. And this is what I wanna show you in case you get one of these. A lot of these come with, on the bottom of the clock, there'll be something that tightens, you can screw it to mess with this pendulum in the middle. This one didn't have it, so it was kind of confusing. Well, here's a couple things that came into it. In the back here, we have this switch. When you want to move these, you want to put it all the way there so it holds the pendulum, st pendulum steady. You undo it when it's just running. But that wasn't my problem. I had undone it, it and it still wasn't running. What it turned out to be is up here, right there, there's a little tiny screw that took one of my jeweler screws here and I was able to tighten it, and it made this little pendulum start to work. And now, I have a lovely, fully functioning clock. Now, all that's left for this is for me to clean it. The glass, the dome, that was easy enough. And I'm not gonna touch any of the clock interior, because it all seems kind of nice. There's some scratching on the bottom, but not that much. It's this part. Technically, I should take it all apart to do it. So that's what I did. But I'm being careful. As I take the pieces off, I'm laying them down in order that I took them off. So I'll know which way to go in reverse to put them back on. Okay, gonna give this a shot. Now with some of the pieces, I was able to use just a clean cloth to clean it up but not so much on this base. There was a lot on there. So I'm using the scrubby part of a sponge, but all of them though, I'd apply the barkeeper's friend and then I'd use some warm water to rinse them off, some clean warm water. And I mention this because right now you'll see my lovely assistant, or at least part of him, my husband was helping out by changing the water for me. But yeah, I needed more abrasive for the plate, but the other part pieces, I was just using a clean cloth and the barkeeper's friend was working great on them. Okay, so I'm gonna take off the back and turn the battery so you can see the back here. This is how I know it's not that old of a piece because this is a lot of plastic. The fact that they were able to get it to work with the double A shows it's not that old. All right, so I've got that off, got everything stopped. Do that, that shuts the mechanism off. Now I'm gonna turn it on its side. I can't do it. I, I, for fear, this is such a delicate balancing piece that I'm afraid that if I take it off its pulls, it's gonna just fall apart. So I'm gonna try and sand it. But to protect this, I think painter's tape might be my best bet. I started out sanding with a light 320 grit and there are some grooves within this plate and I was going along with that but it just wasn't doing it. So I switched to a much fiercer medium grit sanding block. It's probably about a 100, 120 grit because there was some serious staining on that base. And then I switched back to my 320 to get rid of the marks that it left. There. 
there, with all the polishing done, it's time to remove the blue tape and reassemble. And there we have it, a little tender care and five bucks. And I've got myself a pretty cute clock. Hope it inspires you to go estate sale shopping. I know I'm going to be looking for another one of these because I think I've got an idea to do something really bold with it. We'll see. Thanks for watching. If you could, please support the asking spot by giving a thumbs up and subscribing to the channel. Thanks.